Hey, this is Derek with UofMTiger.com, back for another video. It's 2019, and I haven't done an office tour setup since 2016, so without further ado, here we go. So first off, I thought we would start with the 34-inch HP display. This is a um, display that I got a while back, but it's 4K, so it'll be in my setup for quite a while. Um, at one time I thought about going to a one display process, but that just doesn't work for my needs. I need things to work on, run on different computers, different things. So right now I have a three monitor setup, which I'll show you the other two monitors now. So my second monitor is the Samsung 34 inch ultra wide. Uh, at one time I thought about getting another iMac, which I had in the space before, but I'm so glad I didn't. I'm, I really enjoy having all this screen space, um, especially for when I'm editing photos or video or um, just work, working on Excel spreadsheets. It's just great to have all this screen space. So if that screen's not wide enough, <clears throat> I also have a 42 inch Vizio display. Um, this here is what I mainly use for if I'm running Apple TV, Chromecast, um, Nvidia Shield watching Blu-ray. Uh, one of the benefits of my office chair is it lounges back um, so I can actually have it almost all the way back with my feet up on the desk and I can watch movies or whatever I want to do up there. So I can watch YouTube, movies, Apple TV, etc. Um, it's also 4K. Uh, this Samsung I don't think is the, a 4K display. Um, it does have high resolution. Um, I'll talk about why I went with the Samsung later on, but I just wanted to show you uh, the how it looks on my desk. So moving on, I wanted to show some of the accessories in the space. This right here is whenever I want to connect my MacBook Pro to my uh, monitor. This is the keyboard I usually use. Um, it's really light, um, so I can move it around um, whenever I want to use a keyboard. Uh, it actually came with an iPad case, but I actually use it more for con um, controlling my MacBook Pro um, whenever I'm in this office space. I also use this particular mouse. It's kind of a bulky mouse, um, but this is the one I use with my MacBook Pro. I take on trips and whatnot. Um, the thing I like about it compared to my regular mice that I use at my desk is that you control the mouse just by doing this. You're not moving it around the screen, moving around on a desk. So I can put this um, pretty much anywhere. Uh, so secondly, I've got these little um, things on my desk. These aren't necessities by any um, uh, stretch of the imagination, but um, these things you can plug in and they run around the room and things. So anytime I need a break, they're fun to mess around with. Um, these are usually my uh, things that I take on trips uh, related to hard drives. So I also have this um, holder for my Apple Pencil. Uh, it's magnetic and it works with my office setup. I mean my living room setup because I have metallic kind of tables in there and these are magnets so they'll literally just stick to the table without um, worrying about that flying off. Moving on <coughs> we you can see I have a uh, speaker down here. It's Polk Audio. And that's for when I want to do surround sound. Um, I don't use surround sound that often. I usually rely on my NHT SB2 speakers. And there's another one over here. Um, for most audio, I listen to that. You can also see my little Stormtrooper here. He's uh, kind of guarding the place. He keeps eye on my MacBook Pros. Um, he's another one that can talk and walk and things like that. Compared to R2-D2, he's much bigger, as you can see. Um, I prefer R2-D2, though, because he does more tricks. But um, this is kind of a cool uh, thing, I think. So that's why I have it on my desk. So what's interesting is um, I have this Echo Spot set up. And right now I have Arlo camera and I've told it to con connect to my office camera and as you can see this is the Arlo I have these things all over the place I've got some that connect to electricity some like this that are wireless I've got the pro versions that you can recharge I actually love these things um, but I have them all over if I'm in my office I can tell it to show my porch so what I'll do is I'll set the um, the camera up outside and sometimes if I'm working in my office with my headphones I can um, tell it to put the 
um, camera on my porch and it'll show it on this screen um, it's really nice to have um, also sometimes I'll just want to show some of my um, uh, different vi uh, photos so if I can I can say uh, the show pictures of mountains from my library here's what I found for mountains and those so there's Gatlinburg a shot from Gatlinburg um, so it'll show, go through my different videos or photos that I have on their um, network, which is nice. Um, it also, you know, is great for calculations or if I'm in here for just a few minutes and I don't have time to set up my complete audio setup, I can just tell it to play music. Um, it can control Plex, which is nice, <clears throat> that runs on my Mac Mini. So it's got a lot of different, uh, different um, things that I use it for. Over here is my Mac Mini. It's a 2018 Core i7. Um, I love that thing. Couple Thunderbolt docks. Um, I actually have tons and tons of hard drive space, but I usually like to use these SSDs. I had um, Seagate SSDs, which um, mainly what I have connected to this, and they multiple terabytes of uh, space. Plus, I have a few um, just uh, external drives that I connected, um, which is really nice. Uh, the MacBook Pro, like I said earlier, um, I use it on occasion. It's really nice to use with this um, t this uh, Samsung display because it's got Thunderbolt. Um, it has like a little thing there if you look. Uh, this is Thunderbolt, so it has two Thunderbolt ports. So I have my Mac Mini connected to it, and also if I want to, I can connect my uh, MacBook Pro, and it supplies power and shows the um, display. It's really kind of a nifty setup. Um, I don't use it a ton because I just prefer using the Mac Mini, but occasionally I'm in the middle of working on something and I'll get out the MacBook Pro and use it instead. That's a 2016. Um, it's highly, con uh, I guess a lot of people have been critical of it because the keyboard, I don't really have a problem with it, but I don't type ever, you know, I'm not a typist or anything like that. So over here is kind of my gaming um, headphones. Um, they're made by Steel Series. They're Siberian Elite. I just have it on this little Mac stand. There's also a Blu-ray there you can see. Um, over here I've got my Yeti blue mic microphone um, and my little schnauzer protecting it. Uh, it's a nice little setup. I've got it on this road stand so you can kind of you know move it around as you like. Um, I don't use it that often. I thought I would be shooting more video by now and it just never really um, took off the way I thought I would uh, do it. I guess I'm a little lazy. <laughs> I just don't have time really. So um, a lot of changes in my lifestyle since I bought this thing. So then over here, um, this is kind of my newest thing is this topping um, D10 DAC. It goes up to 32 bits by 384 kilohertz. Um, I mainly use it for uh, Cobuzz, which is anywhere from you know 16441 to 24192. Uh, if you're an uh, audio geek, you'll know what that means. If not, then it, it's really irrelevant. Have a little Spider Man there just kind of guarding this situation. And this is the Tivoli Pal. Um, I use this with the Echo Spot, and I have a splitter so I can feed this or my main speakers uh, audio from the dot. I mean, from the spot. One thing I liked about this topping DAC is that it can also feed my Cambridge DAC Magic so I can still access the different filters. Um, the reason I didn't use why I bought it, even though I already owned a Cambridge DAC Magic, is the USB port on the Cambridge DAC Magic is limited to 48 kilohertz and it just wasn't enough for my taste. Um, so this actually takes it all the way up to 96 if I want to use that particular DAC. Surprisingly, I really like the topping um, DAC sound. So a lot of times I don't use the Cambridge DAC Magic with it, but um, it's there in case I do need to, in case I do want to use it. Also, I have my PC connected to a digital audio port on the Cambridge Audio because it has more um, inputs. All right, that's um, up here. I have my portable iPad. I have two iPads. This one here is, I think, an Air 2. Um, the reason I have this is it's got this life proof case on it and it's just indestructible. Um, I can take it out to the pool, the hot tub, the beach, whatever, and I don't have to worry about uh, it getting um, 
having issues with water getting inside or anything like that. Um, the stand actually holds the iPad plus a pair of headphones, my Bluetooth um, Pelican headphones, no, uh, Parrot headphones. Parrot Zeke, I think is what they're called. <clears throat> and then over here, I've got my AKG K701s. I absolutely love these headphones. These are um, probably going to be in my setup forever. Um, I just really love the sound of them. They're very comfortable on my head, um, which is mainly um, what I'm interested in is great sound and comfort when, when it comes to headphones. Over here, I've got the Keed or Heed Can Amp. Um, this is used for a uh, headphone amp. So that's what I run my, um, so audio goes from here to here, to there, and to here, which is my Onkyo receiver. Um, and it says DAC, so that's what the audio is at this moment. I also have it connected to um, HDMI for my living room setup. So in here I can control my Apple TV, my um, Nvidia Shield, my TiVo, etc. cetera. Um, it just gives me so many options. So one last thing I wanted to mention is this 2011 iMac. Um, I use this for my standing desk and it's um, nice for whenever I want to check the web, um, check Twitter, check uh, Facebook, etc. It's just nice for when I want to stretch my legs and it gives me kind of an alternative to my main setup. So I just want to wrap things up real quick. Um, I just wanted to mention one thing, um, why I went with this iMac or the Mac Mini and Samsung display versus getting another iMac. And the main reason is just the iMac has too many limitations for my needs. Um, it doesn't have input, so I can't connect my HDMI to it, which is what I use for my Apple TV, Roku, etc. I can't connect my, um, my PC to it. I do have a Dell PC and I can't connect it to the back of the iMac, but I can connect it here. Um, so this really just because of the ports and that's one of the reasons I even chose this specific um, ultra wide was because of the port situation. Um, then the second thing is the fact that whenever you, uh, the iMacs run its course and you still want to use it, used to have so many limited options. Um, I ended up putting it over here for a standing desk, which is great, but um, it's not really ideal. We thought about mounting in the kitchen and we just thought it would be too cumbersome for that particular thing. Um, conversely, I have a 2010 Mac Mini that's sitting in my living room setup that I use almost all the time for audio. Uh, I run a, a app called Otervana on it with Kobuz and it gives me really high resolution audio on my main uh, system. Uh, uh, finally, the other thing is just the fact that the 27 inch display is kind of old school for me. I'd rather have an ultra wide. And finally, um, the one other question I get on my setup is what, what would I change? Uh, right now, there's not a lot I would change. I want to eventually uh, if things, if I do more video, I'd eventually like to start using um, an eGPU. Um, so I may add that down the road. If I do, I may do another video about it. Uh, and also, I'm looking maybe at a standing desk down the road sometime. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to go that route because the iMac, I have that over there when I want to do that particular thing. Um, and I just, I don't see me using it that often because once I'm because once I'm actually starting to work on something, I don't start thinking about, do I want to stay and sit, et cetera. I'm kind of involved in it. So um, we'll see how it goes. I may add that later. I'm not sure. Um, so those are the main things. If you have any comments, questions, whatever, um, feel free to contact me. Thanks.